Доброе утро, народ Good Божий. Morning, people of God. Аллилуйя, слава Богу. Аллилуйя, praise the Lord. That's a great privilege to be in the house of the Lord and worship Him. Amen. And this is what we are going to do here. Lord, we are worshiping you. We enjoy being here in this place. Please come in your power, come in your glory and touch every one of us. And everyone who needs your answers, let them come to you and let them get your answers because you are great. Fill this place. We are waiting for you. Jesus, we are waiting for you here. Lord, we are waiting for you. Jesus, we are here to worship you and we submit ourselves and we worship you we are seeking your face fill your temple with your glory and your power fill your temple we are waiting for you and we are expecting to get from you Lord только ты, Господь, славы и хвалы дай. Перестану петь тебе новую песню. Стой только ты, Господь, славы и хвалы дай. Слава, Аллилуйя, слава тебе. Слава, да, Господь, слава тебе. Вот звучит. to worship you with new song entering your gates receive the sacrifice of our praise we are waiting for your power to be seen in this place Субтитры 
смотрю в твои небеса. Господь, ты знаешь, как сильно люблю тебя. and every song is for you, Lord, and I'm here for you. Hallelujah, Lord. Fill us, Lord, with your glory. We are thirsty for you. Fill us. Feel us, Lord. We are thirsty for you, Lord. Oh! 
We are thirsty for you, Lord, here in this place, our King. All glory to you. All praise and worship in this place. Thank you that you are near and nobody can take us away from your hand, from your love, and we worship you. Сила любви Твоей И прославлю Тебя, Господь Всей жизнью своей Да, Иисус Я преодолею все Только сила любви Твоей О, И прославлю Тебя, Господь Всей жизнью своей Поем Тебе Тебе, 
Тебе. All glory to you. To you, Lord, to you alone. You are King and our Lord.
Поприветствуйте того, кто рядом с вами. Greet your neighbor, please. Скажите, что я рад видеть в Доме Божьем. Say, I'm so glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Because there is no better place than the house of the Lord. The house of the Lord is the best place in the world where we can feel such a nice atmosphere of the Lord and hear the word of God. So often, King David was rejoicing when he entering the temple of God and it's so wonderful that we can come in the holy presence of the Lord and to know him and it's so important for us to know that our God is great because it is written in the psalm of King David I found out that God is great why is this so important for us? Because every day we face some difficulties and troubles, and when we know that our God is great, we can fight with our difficulties using the Word of God, when we can proclaim that our God is great and He can do everything. When you know that God is great, your circumstances are nothing in the presence of the Lord. When here is God and here is His greatness, when you know your God, when you know His will and greatness, any trouble is gone. What I would like to share today is the topic of humility. We need to be humble before God, because when we humble ourselves, we see God's, and God's goodness and grace in our lives, and His blessings are coming in our life. Let us open Luke, Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verse 2. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see all the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, Jesus, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. You know what does this word of God speak to us? It is written that I am the bread of life. Everyone who comes to me will never feel hungry or thirsty. And those who come to me will remain with me. So here is Zacchaeus. He is a wealthy man. He has so many possibilities and opportunities because he was a chief tax collector. Why did he climb the tree? Because he wanted to see Jesus. And his faith became active. He started to climbing the tree. Do you know another tax collector or another chief who was climbing the, a tree to see Jesus? To see, to, to watch service, maybe in Chibis or wherever. Of course, we understand that Jesus is now in heaven, but here is Zacchaeus in the time of Jesus, and Zacchaeus was short, and there were crowds. He couldn't reach Jesus due to this. We know another story from the Bible when there was a man who was ill and he wasn't able to come to Jesus himself. And that's why there were his friends, four of his friends, they came to him and brought this ill man to Jesus. And here is Zacchaeus, and he had such a great desire to see Jesus Christ. He wanted to know who Jesus was. 
There were a lot of people, there were crowd, and Jesus was surrounded by people, and there were people who were close to Jesus, who were far from Jesus, but Jesus paid his attention to the chaos, because Jesus wanted to give him life. When we read the Bible, we see that everyone who comes to the Lord will never feel hungry, will never feel thirsty. Did Zacchaeus have any problems with being hungry or being thirsty? No, he was a very well wealthy man. He had everything he needed for his life to meet his essential needs, but he wanted to see Jesus. And that was a great design in him. There are things in the, in the world which are not seen for people, but you feel it, you have it in your heart. And only you can know what you know, what your desires are. But Lord planned in advance to go through this uh, near this tree to go this way to come to this spot because Lord knew Zacchaeus' problems, he knew his desire, and I consider this a great humbleness for a chief tax collector because he humbled himself to climb the tree because he put Jesus higher than he was. There were a lot of people who were in the presence of the Lord, but there was also Zacchaeus who humbled himself and Lord, Lord noted his humbleness. You remember another story from the Bible. There was a young man who came to Jesus asking, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him, do you know the commandments? The man replied, yes, I know them, and I fulfill all the commandments from my childhood. But Zacchaeus, he probably didn't know all the commandments, and he probably didn't fulfill them. So Zacchaeus overcame all the difficulties, he was a wealthy man, he was a rich man, and when he had Jesus in his house, he said that I will repay for all my wrongdoings. This is the way how God worked in his heart, because Zacchaeus humbled his heart. He wanted to see Jesus, and Jesus changed his heart, his life. Zacchaeus didn't expect that Jesus would come to his house and cha would change his life. And there were other people who were complaining about uh, Jesus coming to Zacchaeus' house, because Zacchaeus was a sinner, and how could it be like that? But there was a rich man who was fulfilling the commandments from his childhood. And he knew all the commandments, but he didn't want to follow Jesus because he was very rich and he didn't want to humble himself, but he was Zacchaeus and he did opposite things. You know, we need to have the right condition of our heart. You can attend church for a long time and you can see the atmosphere of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, but you do not experience it yourself. There were many people who saw Jesus healing, who saw Jesus walking, making miracles, doing great things, but they didn't have the right condition of their heart. They didn't have a humble heart. I believe that 
There were many people who almost all of them needed health, needed healing, they needed Lord to restore their heart. They need to be healed. Because every person has sins, has weaknesses, have some bad traits of their characters, and for that they need to be humble to ask for Lord's help. And sometimes people follow their own needs, their own desires, their own purposes, and they don't follow God's heart. If we look at the Romans 9, 3, it is written, Apostle Paul said, For I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for sake of my people, those of my own race, the people of Israel. Theirs is the adoption of, to sonship. This, the divine glory, the covenants, the receiving of the Lord, the temple worship, and the promises. This is all for you, for people of God, and this is our inheritance. By Many people didn't get it, didn't receive it. It is written that only part of the people got it. Why? Because they didn't humble themselves. They didn't humble their character. They have, an, they have old character, and this old character hinder you from development, development. Hinder you from inheritance. Hinder you from changes. But here is a tax collector, and he got healing, he got restoration. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what humbleness can do? Because he is people of Israel, and they, do, and they have it, because this is their inheritance from the Lord himself, but they, they don't use it. They, they, they know that they can have it, but they don't have it. But here is a tax collector, and he gets what Lord prepared. Do you remember another story from the Bible? There was a lady who came asking for help from, from Jesus, and she was from another nation, not from people of Israel, and she asked for help, and Jesus said, I came to help my people, to help people of Israel first, and she said, Please help me, because I also need help, and I know that you can. So, and she got that help because she humbled herself. It's so important to keep what we have. In the book of Revelation 3.11, it is written, I'm coming soon, hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. Who can steal what you have? We know that we have an enemy, and he can steal. Or sometimes we make our own decisions, and we give it, freely to, to that enemy. When we praise our Lord, when we worship Him, nobody can steal it from us, because this is our inheritance. If we do not make our efforts to, to be changed and to let Lord change us, 
we are not able to use that inheritance and to let Lord be glorified for our lives. When a person remains the same even after repentance, this is like a door for devil to steal what God prepared for you as his inheritance, his promises and his blessings. Sometimes a person keeps sinning and these sins hinder God from giving you all his inheritance in full. You remember the story of Ruth? She was not from the people of God, but she was so confident that she had to go and serve the Lord that she said the following words in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16, it is written, but Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God my God. And this is also an act of humbleness because she was from another nation. She has and she knew different laws, another laws, but she decided to serve God, saying, May your God become my God. That was not her inheritance, but she humbled herself and her, her humbleness opens that doors for the answers to come into her life. When we humble ourselves, Lord sends His answers to restore us, to heal us, to help us. At the first sight, we could think, oh, you are from another nation. That's impossible for you to serve God. So what are you thinking about? But she decided to fulfill the, word, the will of God. And when we humble ourselves to fulfill the will of God, God himself opens new opportunities and he gives us ways to fulfill his will. When we look at Zacchaeus, we could think that Zacchaeus, you had everything for life. What are you really missing? What are you lacking? Because the scripture says that food is not enough to fulfill uh, real needs of a man. And we read the Bible again says that Christ himself is the life. And everyone who comes to Lord, who comes to Jesus, will never be first or hungry again. And it is also written that God Himself prepared eternity for us. So it's not about food, it's not about water. It's something different. What Zacchaeus was following. He realized that Jesus had the source of life, and that's why Jesus, Zacchaeus had the des this desire to follow him, to see him, to meet Jesus. Do you remember the way how the fear of God comes in a man's life? It is written that it comes through humbleness. In Proverbs, 
22.4 it is written, Humility or humbleness is the fear of the Lord, it wages a riches and honor in life. It is also written that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, is supernatural wisdom from Lord. When you humble yourself before God and God gives you wisdom, He reveals, He opens your eyes and you become able to serve Him. When Zacchaeus humbled himself, Jesus visited his house. Many people didn't understand that. They didn't understand what happened to Zacchaeus, that at that time the condition of Zacchaeus' card was changed completely. And Jesus changed his heart and Zacchaeus became able to repay and to pay for all his wrongdoings. You remember that young man who fulfilled all the commandments from his childhood, but is written that fulfilling the law is not enough, but faith in Christ is all what we need. In order to live according to the word of God, you need to be humble, you need to humble yourself, because it's not possible to fulfill the commandments of the Lord or to live according to the word of God without humility. Humbleness is an essential thing for your life, to submit yourself to the Lord. Sometimes you need to keep silent, sometimes you need to, to refuse the things you wanted to do, but you shouldn't do it because you have a fear of the Lord. As we have read, humility is the fear of the Lord, its wages are riches and honor in life. Zacchaeus had wealth, he was a wealthy man, but he needed life, he needed God's wisdom, that's why he humbled himself. Jesus is the one who can give us life. We need to keep preaching the gospel to all the people around us, because so many people around us need Lord's life. Maybe they, and there are so many people who seem wealthy and rich and blessed, but truly speaking, they don't have the real life which Jesus only can give. You remember there were so many people around Jesus and they were closer to Jesus than Zacchaeus and maybe they spoke to Zacchaeus saying you don't have a chance to see him. You will never be able to come to him closer. This is not your place to be. But you know, our task is to have revelation, to have understanding that people are going to hell and we need to proclaim the good news to let them chance to see Jesus. Yes, Zacchaeus was rich, but he had problems in his heart. And the same way nowadays, there are so many people who have problems in their hearts and they want to see Jesus. And we can be that tree 
who let those people see Jesus. You remember the time when Jesus, the Lord, wanted to take Elijah from the earth? There was his servant Elisha, and Elijah told his servant, you may stay here and I will go to uh, that place. And Elisha said, no, I will not stay here. I will accompany you. Wherever you go, I will go. Because I am your servant and I would like to be with you. Where you go, I will go. And Elijah realized that Elisha will not leave him and he will not go anywhere because he wanted to see the glory of God. All of us should have that desire to see the glory of God, to experience His holy presence. And there were other prophets who didn't cross the Jordan River and they stayed at the other bank of the river. But Elisha crossed the river because he wanted to be where his master was, where Elijah was. He wanted to see the glory of God. He wanted to be at the midst of Holy Presence. And when you are ready to overcome difficulties and to continue your way, this is already your humility. This is already the act of humility. It is written in the Bible that you need to make efforts to reach the kingdom of God. Sometimes you need to serve when you don't want to or don't have the time to. And this is your effort.